Welcome back to Jeeves Gaming, guys, and tonight we are going to hopefully go score huge out in the dumpsters. So, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for all awesome dumpster driving videos every single day. Don't forget to like the video, guys. It helps us out a freaking ton. And don't forget that we also do mystery box giveaways on the first of every single month. Somewhere in the video will be a secret word. Put that word down in the comments below because every video we put out has a secret word, and every one you put down there, you give yourself a better shot at winning. Without further ado, let's go get it. All right, guys, so we're gonna be trying a whole different style of recording today. So instead of holding the camera, she's gonna be holding the camera and following me around. So I have both my hands and gloves. We thought about going back to the GoPro like you guys voted for, but the quality is just terrible. So let's try it like this. First TBS tier, and it's completely empty. So whoop de doo great first start, right? Let's look in this one, the recycling bin. Never nothing in here with cardboard, but I like to look in here anyway because you never know when they're accidentally gonna throw a box of something away in there. Something just moved, I thought. That creeped me out. And in here, let's see. Nothing but sure. Uh, let's try one of the black bags. Ah. Nothing but real trash. So, nothing in our first CVS was pretty much always the case, but anyway, on to the next spot. All right guys, at GameStop now. I know this one's hard to hear. There's a giant highway right behind us, but we're gonna try our best, so let's go in here. I just took a peek in here and check this out. That is an Xbox One Connect that's pretty much brand new in the box. Now, I don't know if there's anything else in here with it, but it's just the Connect. It's not a themed box, so I really don't want it, but Check that out. Brand new Xbox One Connect in the box. Definitely gonna take this. We'll be right back to check the other box too. Also the 360 box over here. Let's see if we got anything in here. Oh. Hard drive. New style of editing lock. <laughs> The rest of it is trash. Let me put this on the car real quick. Let's see if I can reach the bag. Ah. Yeah, that bag's just, just real trash, but check that out. Connect and a hard drive at the first GameStop. Tonight's going great already to the next spot. All right, guys, so we just went by Bed Bath & Beyond. There was a couple employees in there, so we decided we'll come back there later on. But for now, we're at a second GameStop, and let's see if we can score again. This GameStop used to actually be one of our best spots, but it seems like somebody else is hitting it or something, because I don't think the stores are throwing stuff away this messy. And honestly, there's just nothing in here. There's another dumpster over here that they sometimes use, so we'll go check that out. Look at this rack, by the way. I know somebody's gonna tell me in the comments, you should be scrapping, you should be scrapping. I know, but our camera's small. Let's go check over here really quick. That's a duck boom. Well, that's pretty much empty. We got some cardboard. Well, can't score all of them. We got we did get at least at one game stop, but for now, let's head to the next spot. Welcome to the King of Wastes dungeon. Let's go. Ooh. Ow. Let's see guys, so there was a lot of refrigerated stuff in these dumpsters last time so a lot of that's still going to be here because obviously it's the middle of summer, it's 95 degrees, we can't take that stuff. So let's keep looking around. This is, a, this is how I separate them, right? This is the disgusting dumpster. This is usually recycling. That's usually gold. Is it gold today? No, it's still just all the refrigerated stuff. There's a few packs of Fig Newtons over there. Uh, maybe. Ugh. Might need the claw. But the gummy snacks down here are expired like by months. So those are trash. That stuff is all uh, 90 degrees. I can't touch it. The cleaner's empty. So the only thing we'd really be going for are the Fig Newtons. And we don't really know if they're any good. So you know what? It's just going to call it a loss. So let's head to the next spot. All right, guys, so now we are at PetSmart. 
this is the one we found the 400 pounds of bird seed at. So fingers crossed we get something epic like that again. Let's check it out. Peekaboo! Hmm. I don't know what's in here. I'm about to find out. Ew. Dirty trash. Who puts trash in a dumpster, right? Ugh. Ugh. We got a bag of some type of dog food here. Let's see what it says. Oh, there's a, a thing on it that says mold. I think we'll leave that here. Um, here's a smaller bag. Is it the same thing? Um, no, it says returned item. It's open, that's why. So I don't think I could take the open one. Actually, it's still donatable. Might as well. Let's take it. All right, let me come around to this side. Nothing else. What is that? Kitten milk formula. Is this opened? This is brand new and sealed. Kitten, kitten milk formula. I've never seen that before. There's a smaller jar of it too. So two jugs of kitten milk. Moldy dog food, which we'll leave behind. There's some more kitten formula powder. Some more kitten formula powder. Here's another big container of it. Look at that, we're loading up on this stuff. I'm gonna have to set this on the car real quick. I mean, it's a lot of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's looking good, let's keep going. The gift that keeps on giving. Oh, I wish that was in there. Pet carrier. One more can, it looks like. Um, we got some medication here. Hairball medication for cats. Other than that, looks like it's it. So, again, PetSmart delivers. But anyway, on to the next spot. All right guys, so we just went by our five below and there was two cleaners there, so we're hoping they'll be gone by the time we get done with this, but we're at Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, Bath & Body Works now, <laughs> sorry. And let's see if we got anything in here. Pickle! <laughs> <laughs> I'm in for a load. All that weight is nothing but advertising books. We do have this bag. Uh oh. Uh oh, guys. No. That might have been some good stuff. Looks like a couple of wax melter. Can you come around like this side? Shine it in there. Let's see. What might have fell out? See, I got two of the melter things here. But all that came out of this bag. So this bag might be loaded. Oh my gosh. Look what I see. Hello, beautiful. It's like partially burned, but still a good candle. Let's bring this bag over here. This is getting complex. I'll take this with me, and I will let you guys know at the next spot. So see you then. All right, guys. So we just got back home. We did end up checking a couple other places, but there just seemed to be a lot of cleaners and a lot of police cars out tonight. So even though it's not illegal, I never want to give off the bad impression. So if I see police cars anywhere nearby, I just don't check because... I mean, I know I'm dumpster diving, you guys know I'm dumpster diving, but a police officer sees some guy with gloves on behind the store in the middle of the night, they're thinking other things, so that's why I don't do it. And there's just so many people out tonight. But anyway, let's do a recap of the things we did find. So we got a good amount of stuff from Bed, um, Bath and Body Works, sorry. I don't know why those names always get confusing to me. There's too many Bs. We always mess it up. Always. <laughs> but unfortunately, the products that look, that look like we're in that bag were all empty or half used, and they were like facial stuff, so... I didn't think it would be worth taking some lipstick that someone else has put on their face or something like that. That, that was just kind of gross, but we did get three of these. I don't really know if they were worth taking or not, but they're the things you plug into the wall and you put the 
scent stuff in here and it just I guess just heats it up or sprays it out or something looks like it's more of a spray so your room smells good but honestly we don't even need them because we have found so many candles lately I don't think we're ever gonna have a scent problem ever we also got this from Bath and Body Works I never found this scent before blueberry maple pancakes and let me tell you, it smells good. I'm actually one of the one weird people that hate syrup, especially maple syrup too, so I'm surprised I really do like this. I don't like blueberries either. I love blue raspberry flavor, but I hate blueberries, but this smells amazing. I never actually found a candle that looks like it was half used. Maybe they used this one in the store and then they threw it out when they got a new one, but I don't see a price tag on it. Yeah, I do. $24.50 for this new, but it's halfway gone, of course. But like I said before, we don't sell candles anyway. We just pile them up so we can use them in the house and always smell good. Now from GameStop, we finally did get a pretty decent haul. Definitely happy with that. So we got an Xbox 360 hard drive, which is always a ton of fun. The reason being is people download games on these. So you never know if it's just an empty hard drive with nothing, or I found hard drives with like 10 to 15 games downloaded on them. So this could potentially be 10 to 15 games, which is pretty epic. And it could also have modded profiles on it, which I found before. So a lot of stuff that could happen with this. Hopefully it's a good one. I'll definitely plug it on my Xbox 360 when I'm done and check it out. But the find of the night is definitely the Xbox One Connect, which is brand new. I don't know why they threw this out in the box. Maybe it was an accident because you guys saw how this was still sitting in the Xbox One box. And it looked like it had never been touched. And this has still got the little zip tie around it. So I can tell this has never even been unraveled yet. So a brand new Xbox One Connect. These still go on eBay for between $20 and $30. So that's almost a full tank of gas in one find. Definitely enough to pay for the night's trip. So... You know what? At the end of the day, we had fun. I'm still happy. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster driving videos every single day. Also, don't forget that somewhere in the video is a secret word. Put that word down in the comments below because we do mystery box giveaways on the first of every single month. Every video we put out has a secret word in it. The more of them you put down there, the better shot you got at winning. And don't forget we are also selling awesome dumpster diving t-shirts, including this one and a bunch of other designs. And the link to those will be down in the description below if you're interested in checking them out we also have twitter facebook and instagram if you want to follow us on any of our social media links will be down in the description below we post all sorts of random things along with our hauls and pictures of the kittens we found tons of random things lastly guys we do have a p.o box so if you guys ever want to send anything in it'll always be open on video thank you so much for watching and until next time peace out